what do we mean by African consciousness and what does it mean in terms of a value system, briefly? Well, of course, African consciousness would grow out of an intimate knowledge, familiarity with study of the cultural experience of African people. And, and what comes from that is a point of view. It's unavoidable. If I spend time studying the poetry of my people, the music of my people, the philosophy of my people, the religion of my people, the science and contributions of my people, doesn't mean I have to reject anybody else's science and contributions and so forth, but what it does do for me is it gives me a firm base in my own creativity. And that unavoidably will produce in me an African consciousness. And that's very important. Now, African consciousness is, is the ethnicity of African people. And there are characteristic values, and I think those are summed up in many ways in some of the work that uh, has been done on the Nguza Saba, you know, and the Seven mm -hmm. Principles, sometimes we see associated with Kwanzaa. We are a collective people, for example. Uh, we take care of each other. I mean, these are, there are typical cultural traits that, that, that people have identified with African people for long periods of time that grow out of our southern cradle environment in the African continent. We welcome the stranger. For example, check out the Giap in his book, The Cultural Unity of Black Africa, identified some of these parameters. The, 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 the fear of the stranger is typical of the northern cradle. The love of the stranger is typical of the southern cradle. The, the, southern, northern cradle be, the northern cradle being the European, the southern cradle being the African. The Africans always welcome strangers. You know, you could, you, could, uh, you could go to Africa, leave your bag, come back two years later. If you left books there, they present you with your book when you mm -hmm. came back. You know, that, that is actually an example that comes from the book, The Strong Brown God uh, by de Gramont, who uh, talks about this explorer, Clapperton, and that actually happened to him, where he had, he had left some things and came back two years later, mm -hmm. and his things were presented to him. Uh, that's how welcome he was made to feel. So th there are many values. I can't go into all of them, but... Uh, this, this business of a people using the study of history to reclaim its mind, yeah. its, its consciousness, how unique an undertaking is, undertaking is that? And how do we know it will work? Well, it's not unique at all. In mm -hmm. fact, you name me a successful group nationally, and I will name you a group that's invested heavily in the reclamation of its history. Mm -hmm. One example of that would be German people who uh, the Grimm brothers, for example, are said to have collected fairy tales in order to reconstruct the ancient history of German people so that they would have a basis for identifying themselves ethnically as a people to mobilize nationally. Uh, that happened with the Jewish people and the, the reclamation of their history and the development of the state of Israel. It's happened with the Japanese people in recent times and so forth. There is no group of people who ever become strong and powerful without an investment in its history. You have mentioned the positive things that yeah. will flow right. from a study of African history. But are there some negative things that can flow from it? Uh, there, are, there are some negative things that can, can flow. For example, if we, if we allow ourselves to glorify at the expense of truth. You know, in other words, we're so hungry for an appropriate positive identity that we begin to give uh, false meaning or false interpretations to the facts of our experience. So, for example, that we would skip over the negatives in our experience and see everything isn't positive about Africa. Some things are positive, some things are negative. Say, say that again. Everything isn't positive about Africa. Nothing mm -hmm. is positive totally about any group of people. We have our pluses and we have our minuses like all other people.